So, first of all, we need to understand what is ringworm. Very often, ringworm is clinically termed as tenia, and depending on the area, tenia corporis, which means on the body, tenia. If it's on the feet, it's called as athlete's foot. If it's on the area in around your between the thighs, it's called as a jock itch, and they might come in the worst folds of the area on your buttocks, on your thighs, on in between your genitals. And I will tell you, it is one of the most irritating disorders that you can have. Now, they may look as a roundish, crusty rash with constant itching. Often there might be blisters in it. But it's important to know ringworm is contagious and can be passed from one person to another. This is very important here. Very often, the only treatment for this is antifungal or some kind of ointment. Often some uh, allopaths give steroids. But it's not treatable. It doesn't go. It will come again and again and again. It's well known for relapse. So this is where I want to speak about homeopathic approach in ringworm. Very often what I have seen in my cases in ringworm is there is a deeper state to the ringworm. There is, the ringworm is often superficial part of the deeper disturbance. Often stress I found to be a strong concomitant. Lifestyle and often hormonal stress. So together there has to be some kind of a deeper issue that is causing this superficial skin eruption. That is why to the homeopaths I say just don't give local remedies. Find a deeper remedy for the patient. So I will try to tell you a few things that is a misconception by us. The very famous homeopath called us Compton Burnett. And he has written a book on homeopathy and ringworm. And there he spoke very highly about a medicine which he proved later on, Bacillinum. And because of this book, a lot of my friends here homeopaths prescribe Bacillinum in almost all cases of ringworm. And sometimes it helps, but very often it doesn't. So for my friends here, I've just put across some points that Bernard writes in his book. This is the last paragraph of the book. He writes, ringworm, and you can see this, is a constitutional complaint that is generated together, especially due to an infection spread. He calls it often miasmatic as tubercular. He finds bacillinum as a strong remedy. But what I want to put across, very important, which I found very important, is written that this ringworm is merely concomitant external manifestation of disease and not disease itself. So Burnett has written that it is not just it is not just bacillinum that's going to help. You have to find deeper remedy. And very often, I, I started my practice about a few years back with prescribing bacillinum to almost all cases of ringworm. It's given in boric, also well known for ringworm. And there's one more remedy, chrysanthophobia. But it didn't help. In fact, very often, it aggravated the condition. So what did I learn? So I will try to share some cases and some excerpts. So this was one of the first cases which I saw. It's a case of mother a 40 year old lady with a small baby child about two years old both of them have ringworm for past four months for the first the mother had it and then the child here the issue was that there was extreme itching especially on the phones with bleeding itching itching violent but when i went deeper in the case i found that she had a lot of fears fears something will happen future darkness financial worries especially when i went inside her deeper state i saw she had a deep insecurity about future and that was what was affecting her and when i analyzed her case deeper to the ringworm were the fears and deeper to the fears were the insecurity i found a homeopathic remedy here on analysis the remedy calcarea ka which in higher potency 1m or 10m so i started with 1m and within a month the itching and the scales reduced i continued 1m a dose every month and now almost more than couple of years have passed 
and there has never been a spot there of eruption. Higher potencies, frequent doses often removes ringworm from its root. Find the remedy for the patient, same what Kent said. Let me give you another acute case of ringworm who started seven days back, who took a lot of fungal ointment which didn't help. Extreme itching, a young man, a lot of itching, working in a very famous corporate office. Itching, bleeding. So I asked him, what happened before this itching? What started it? So, when I asked, he says that in the office I was accused of robbing a client of money, which I didn't. This affected me. I kept it within. I felt a lot of anger within. I suppressed myself. I was, how, can, how come they accused me? I felt so hurt. So when I analyzed the case, so deeper to ringworm was the exciting factor. And deeper to the exciting factor was sensitiveness to accusation. And when I analyzed unjust accusation of aggravate, one of the strong remedy here is stephysagria. Stephysagria in a higher potency, initially 1M. Within one dose, I will tell you that eruption went away in 24 hours. And almost two months have passed. Only one dose, nothing else. Unjust accusation aggravates. So what do I want to conclude about ringworm? Find the remedy for the state. Local remedies, mesarium, all this may not help you all the time. Give higher doses, higher potency. And look for long-term treatment. Look at treating the state. My own experience, I'll tell you, as a young boy, I had a strong uh, um, death in the family and I was emotionally very traumatized. Something like that. And I developed a huge ringworm on my foot. And I remember one famous homeopath, my teacher, he prescribed me Ignatia. And I'll tell you, in two doses within a month, the, the ringworm went. Now, Ignatia is not even given in ringworm. So this is what I want to tell you. Work at the state and the disease will go itself. This is one of the diseases. Very important, cleanliness, clothes shouldn't be interchanged. Avoid steroids, ointment, work at your state of mind and lifestyle and ringworm will go. If you have a case of ringworm, find a good homeopath who individualizes the case. Avoid taking medications yourself. Find a really good genuine homeopath. You can write to me about your thoughts, what you felt about today's talk. Thank you so much for following me.